The vertex of a parabola is the turning point, either the maximum or the minimum. There are a few ways to find the vertex, but the easiest is probably to use the axis of symmetry formula. The axis of symmetry is the vertical line that divides a parabola in half, and it always passes through the vertex. To start, we need to have a quadratic equation in standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c. Match up the specific equation that you're given with the general version of the standard form equation to find the values of a, b, and c. In this case, a equals 1, b equals 6, and c equals 9. Remember that if there's no number in front of a variable, then we know that the actual number is 1. So that's why a equals 1. The axis of symmetry formula is x equals negative b over 2a. Substitute the values of a and b into the formula. In our case, we would get negative 6 over 2 times 1. Simplify to find that the axis of symmetry is x equals negative 3. But this only gives us the x-coordinate of the vertex to find the y-coordinate. Do what you always do with equations. Plug in x and solve for y. y equals negative 3 squared plus 6 times negative 3 plus 9. Simplify one step at a time. 9 minus 18 plus 9 equals 0. So the y-coordinate of the vertex is 0, and so the whole vertex is the point negative 3, 0. There are two big twists that can make this process difficult. First, be careful when the equation includes minus signs. Those minuses are going to behave like negatives when we find the values of a, b, and c. In this case, a equals negative 1, b equals negative 4, and c equals 1. When you substitute, use parentheses so that you don't lose those negatives. Negative negative 4 over 2 times negative 1. The two negatives on the top become a positive 4, but the negative on the bottom means that the axis of symmetry is x equals negative 2. You should also use parentheses when you substitute into the equation. Negative negative 2 squared minus 4 times negative 2 plus 1. Following the order of operations, simplify the exponents first, which means we'd square the negative 2, not the negative that's out front. We should have negative 4 minus 4 times negative 2 plus 1. Now you can do the multiplication, which gives us negative 4 plus 8 plus 1. Add them all up to get that the y-coordinate is 5, so the vertex is the point negative 2, 5. The other twist is that not every quadratic equation has all of the standard parts. For this equation, a equals 3, b equals 0, and c equals negative 7. Notice that even though negative 7 is the second term, it's not the value of b because there's no attached x. When you're finding a, b, and c, the order might be different. So pay attention to the number of attached x's instead. When we substitute into the axis of symmetry formula, we get negative 0 over 2 times 3, which simplifies to 0. And then it's easy to find that the y-coordinate is negative 7, so the vertex is 0, negative 7. Finding the vertex will be more tedious if you have fractions or decimals, but the process will be the same. Stay organized and trust the process. Remember to like this video if it helped, comment if you have a question, and subscribe to this channel so that you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching.